students in this video we are going to study uh, behavior of of substances Uh, subjected to external magnetic field students as you all know we have calculated magnetic field field at a point due to current conductor these current conductors are of different types may be straight conductor may be circular ring type uh, in circular ring type we can say we have studied solenoid in fact toroid while calculating magnetic field at a point due to these types of uh, uh, current carrying conductors we do not place uh, or put any material in uh, vicinity means nearby uh, these uh, conductors uh, which means we have calculated uh, the magnetic field in free space or we can say vacuum now in this chapter we are going to study what will happen what will happen to the magnetic field if we uh, insert or introduce magnetic material uh, nearby these conductors or uh, we fill magnetic material Uh, in space around outside maybe or inside uh, these uh, conductors uh, in by inside i mean the outside or uh, inside i mean uh, ring type conductors Uh, ring type uh, conductors uh, that is uh, it may be solenoid or a toroid now uh, what will happen actually when uh, material medium is placed uh, uh, nearby this conductor or uh, we fill uh, the toroid or solenoid uh, with mag mag uh, magnetic material uh, what will happen 
actually first thing is uh, that uh, magnetic field get uh, modified now why magnetic field field uh, gets modified how it modified we know that each material is made of atoms now atoms made of nucleus and electrons revolving around it now these revolving electrons uh, constitute uh, these revolving electron constitute a current so we can say that uh, uh, the revolving electron is equivalent to current carrying uh, loop now this current carrying loop this current carrying uh, loop possesses magnetic dipole moment this moment is given by i into a where i is current and this is area vector of current loop so if we want to calculate its units its units are uh, current ampere area is meter square now if we want to calculate its direction we will use right hand thumb rule now what is this right hand thumb rule it states that if we curl the finger in this way and assume that the current is flowing in this direction in the direction of curl finger the direction of thumb will give the direction of uh, uh, magnetic movement similarly if we reverse the direction the thumb will now points in downward direction so in this case the direction of magnetic movement will be downwards this is this is what uh, uh, the uh, how we can find the direction of uh, this magnetic uh, movement now now what happens is that these dipoles uh, dipoles will get aligned uh under the effect of magnetic uh, field now dip, uh, depending upon different materials the alignment of uh, dipole will be different in uh, uh, the under the magnetic field now depending upon these we can classify materials into three categories <clears throat> categories now oh, first is uh, paramagnetic substances second is diamagnetic substances and third is ferro magnetic uh, substances now we will uh, study these three materials uh, one by one now first is uh, in this uh, in next video uh, i will uh, discuss these three types of uh, materials